Let me just start by saying that I, I've worked with kids who have been abused um, here in the United States, but also when I was in Australia, I worked with wards of the state. And the, you know, people here know this, but the, the psychological damage that this stuff does to children is horrific and uh, very long-lasting and very difficult to deal with. And uh, whether it's at the university level, whether it's at the high school level, you know, elementary, you know, we have this sacred obligation to take care of kids. <laughs> and to, you know, if these things prove to be true, and obviously we don't know, but it looks, it looks absolutely uh, devastating, the fact that this was allowed to go on for so long is, uh, is mind-boggling to me. And, um, you know, my wife and I have two young children, and, <laughs> you know, think about if our children were, at, you know, in school or at Penn State or wherever it might be, or, you know, in a youth program, which this apparently was, um, if a blind eye was turned towards it, or if the uh, allegations were somewhat, you know, buried or not taken seriously, well, you're actually perpetuating the problem. You're you're giving the you're giving the abuser more opportunities to hurt more kids, and that's I, I just can't I can't fathom that. Um, it, it is hard to deal with this stuff. It's both heartbreaking, but it, it, uh, it makes me extraordinarily angry, quite frankly.